began by thanking the governor, the attorney general, all the members of the General Assembly who are here, and in particular, Senator Oyer and Representative Carson for their leadership. Thank you to the advocates from the environmental community, from the organized labor community, which is also represented here, uh, and from the cities and towns. Uh, I've been a supporter of the Act on Climate because we have an opportunity to create thousands of good paying jobs here in Rhode Island, transitioning to a green economy. We have an opportunity to put thousands of people to work, making our state more resilient, more sustainable, and making Rhode Island an economic leader instead of a follower. The Narragansett Bay, the average sea level of the Narragansett Bay has gone up six inches in the last 30 years. Now that is a threat to our communities, to our small businesses, to families, to homeowners, and we can either sit back and do nothing and pay the consequences later, which will be costly, both in financial terms and in human terms, or we can be bold and proactive and say we are going to seize this moment, we are going to make Rhode Island a leader, we are going to put people to work, making our state more resilient and more sustainable, and Rhode Island has chosen to be a leader. So, thank you to all of you. Thank you as well to Speaker Shikarchi and Senate President Ruggiero for their leadership. Uh, listen, change is not always easy. Change can be messy, change can be hard, but fortune favors the bold, and Rhode Island is taking a bold step today. It's my pleasure now to introduce Senate President Dominic Aguirre.